The Precision Bass was the first production electric bass made back in 1951, which introduced upright bass players a new way of pronouncing themselves in an ensemble, and led to many new genres such as metal. On the other hand, the jazz bass was made back in 1960 as a deluxe offering, sporting a two pickup configuration, and created a slew of new tones never heard of before. In this video, we're going to talk about the sounds and feature sets of these two iconic instruments. And be sure to stay tuned to the very end because we're going to figure out which one you should consider. Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Bull Jr. I'm a studio and live bass player from Woodbridge, Virginia. This channel is all about bass tips, tricks, and gear. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. We're going to have a lot of fun. First up, the precision bass. With any bass, you're going to have your tuners, neck, body, pickups, and bridge. On average, you're going to have like a 40 to 42 millimeter um, nut width, so it makes it a little bit bigger than the jazz bass. And for some players, this is you know, what they're used to, this is all they need, just a nice solid place to be and to really enjoy the instrument to its fullest potential. It's like the bass, I guess, you know, it's like iconic. And uh, the same way that the telly stands out for a guitar, you know, it's like the first one you know. First, probably two or three Foo Fighters records, almost exclusively that bass, and then, you know, had a couple other basses I'd play every once in a while, but I always ended up going back, back to that one. But on my solo record, the song Never One Blues, this, that's like, yeah, that thing's a barren, man. That thing works. There's something about the sound of that one that's just heavy and beautiful. And with the electronics, you just have a single split coil pickup right here, and then you just have one volume knob and one tone, simple controls just to get you into the instrument nice and easy, but very versatile in a way that the tone knob, the capacitors are gonna get really low for you to really make sure that you can get a wide variety of tones, which many players often love about the P bass. And this pickup alone just allows the bass to get a nice, full, round sound, really just blends in nice with guitars and drums, and has a strong mid-range presence as well to really be at the forefront of the mix. And often with P basses, you know, when I'm recording, I'm never really adjusting EQ too much, just cutting off the low end and, and adding some grit, but really this is, you know, straight out of the box, you can really do a lot with this instrument and get the sounds that you hear on the radio, you know, pop tunes and rock tunes and just a great instrument to get started. The jazz bass, it has a smaller neck. The neck is about 38 millimeters on average and it really allows a lot of players, you know, they really like this to be able to move fast on the instrument to get where they need to go. The greatest bass I've ever played is the 61 Fender Jazz Bass. It's just a magic bass. Let me try a different bass instead of using the Ricky all the time. I was surprised when we plugged it in how easily I could shape the top end to sound like a Ricky top end. But I was getting a different kind of shape in the bottom end. I was getting a bit more punch. And I ended up using it on Tom Sawyer. Jazz bass gives you that much more of a sonic palette. So it's sort of like one instrument can cover it all. And with the jazz bass, you have two pickups. So you have one at the neck and one at the bridge, similar to a guitar, and you're able to mix and match the volumes and tones of these two pickups separately. So with the jazz bass, you're getting a two pickup configuration. On this bass, you're able to control the volume and tone to get a wide variety of different sounds out of this instrument. This knob controls the volume of this pickup, this knob controls the volume of this pickup, and then this smaller knob controls the overall tone, just like a P bass. And with this configuration, you're able to get a more focused, tighter sound, um, scooped mids, other than the P bass, which is very prominent in the mids, and just allows for a great slap tone as well. Now the question is, which one's right for you? And first off, you cannot go wrong with either of these instruments. I play both of them regularly, and in my experience, they both have their unique flavor, their unique sound that fits into different songs and different ideas that I want to use in my writing and in my playing and just really allows me to get a wide range of tones between these two instruments alone. If you're looking for something that'll give you just a nice solid round tone that'll never fail you, get the precision bass. If you're looking for something with a lot of punch, a lot of tightness to the sound that will really make sure each one of your notes gets heard, jazz bass is for you. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you use any one of these two basses and how you've liked them so far. Until next time, see you guys later.